Well, as many Thanksgiving celebrations are centered around food, it can also be a very stressful time for people struggling with eating disorders. This morning, we have Dr. Paula Cody shedding some light on the topic ahead of the holiday. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. So starting off here, if someone is listening today and they are struggling or continue to struggle with an eating disorder, what are some tips for them specifically as this may be a difficult time? First of all, figure out what your boundaries are before Thanksgiving. Um, next, figure out how you're going to react if, in case someone uh, crosses one of those boundaries. Third, have an ally at that meal for you who can help you um, get out of situations which you may find triggering. Next, figure out what coping strategies you have and make sure you have them with you at Thanksgiving. For example, journaling or listening to music, make sure you bring them along. And last, make sure to treat Thanksgiving like any other meal. Don't compensate by restricting ahead of time or not eating as much the next day. Just treat it like any other meal and continue to follow your meal plan. And what are some other tips for family members or loved ones to remember so you don't accidentally make one of those comments that could hurt someone who might be struggling? Absolutely. For loved ones, it's really important to make sure you avoid any comments on weight, body shape or size, um, including your own. Also avoid making comments on type or amount of food that people are eating at the meal. Make sure you're avoiding all diet talk. And last, make sure to focus on the true intention of the holiday, including love, gratitude, and connection. What are some of those other things that can be stressful around the holidays? I feel like everything kind of falls into that category, but are there things out there that we don't really think about? Absolutely. So um, not just the food itself, but obviously well-meaning comments can be very triggering, including um, feeling that you ate too much and you're going to start your diet tomorrow. Comments like that can be very triggering. Also, shopping for clothes can be very triggering. Getting thrown off your schedule where you might not be able to exercise like you normally do can also be very triggering. All right, doctor, thank you so much for your time. We hope you have a good Thanksgiving. Thank you. We're going to send things over.